I, it, well, this was a tough challenge because we set this before Christmas. So this really was the ultimate test. So let's find out individually how you've been getting on. Because, Stephanie, you said the biggest thing for you was uh, sort of a bit of an eye-opener, really. How many different things had sugar in that you didn't even know? Yes. Yes. There was... Um, it seemed like when you realise what's what products have got sugar in, yeah. that at every turn you're <coughs> fighting the temptation. <coughs> like yogurts is a yogurts big one. Yogurts is a big one. That um, A particular brand of yogurt that I've always used in the past when trying to lose weight um, might not have much fat in it, but it's riddled with sugar it's instead. Sugar. Yeah. So you're still taking in sugar, but in a different format. And so I've had knowing. to rethink that. Well, if we look at your, uh, your diet as it was before, I mean, there are some things there... Yes, there's hidden sugar in some of them. Some of them pretty sort of obvious, <laughs> really. So you've got the Danish pastry to mm -hmm. have for breakfast. You've got the oh, biscuits, yes. <laughs> the fizzy drinks, the donuts, <laughs> the chocolates, you know, that <coughs> sort of thing. So how difficult was it for you to alter your mindset with Paul's help? I've, I've found it uh, quite easy. Now, when I'm looking at what to eat in the morning at work and at lunchtime and in the afternoon, which are my, my trigger areas, really, being at work, sitting there and uh, trying to maintain a, a healthy diet, mm. um, I'm now just more mindful of what I'm eating mm. and it's going to be a long process for me, I think, that to lose mm. weight and become more healthy. But it's a slow process and I think that I've turned a corner have you to noticed time. any change yet yes i well i don't eat chocolate anymore which really. is a big one I mean, yes huge. Really. why is it a slow process because you thought really when you're into their heads yep. and, and as we saw last mm. week you're turning mm. uh chocolate into something that you wouldn't like yeah you know, sort of the, the hair out of a plug hole and all that yeah, sort yeah. of business which immediately put me right <laughs> off um, but why is why isn't it like that okay well in, in in a way philip it is like that the change took place quickly all of these ladies have lost weight right uh, alexa's lost half a stone right and um, uh, the thing is that when you, when, you, when, you, when you lose weight quickly, you can gain it again quickly. I would rather that people slowly, in fact, doctors yeah. recommend no more than two pounds a week, right? Um, that you lose weight gradually, that way your metabolism adjusts. Okay. But this wasn't a weight loss um, exercise. Uh, I've talked to the ladies and the average, um, uh, they've reduced their sugar intake by about 80%. Mm. Wow. Now that's way more than I expected, I've got to say. Let's look at Alexa's uh, diet. This is before, so porridge and cereal with sugar on the top, which <laughs> that's sort of breakfast. And then you've got chocolate bars <coughs> out the mid-morning. Um, reasonable lunch, chicken wrap, can of, uh, of diet uh, cola, um, orange juice, cupcakes in the afternoon, but your downfall was the, your dessert in the evening, spoonfuls of Nutella when the kids weren't looking. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to do it. So what's changed then? Is that Nutella been banished? Uh, yeah, I threw it in the bin. Did you? Yeah. It, it, for me, it was, it was energy levels. It was having two small children. And it was turning to the Cokes and the chocolate to give me a boost to try and get me through the day. But I'm, I'm dairy intolerant as well, so it has a counterproductive. You have big crashes and yeah, big highs. And yeah. I, so I've, I've, I've cut out the chocolate. I've like, really I've dramatic, dramatically changed my diet as well. And Six have you pounds. seen a difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, in, felt a difference. I felt a difference. Like my, I mean, I've, I've gone kind of more towards a vegan diet as well. Um, just through. It, it just helped us alter my like my mindset and give me the kickstart that I needed. But my energy levels, I mean, yeah. I'm not as anywhere near as shattered on an evening. Well, that's yes. brilliant. That's, that's brilliant. It's well, Emma perfect. here, I mean, that we can easily see your major issue was fizzy drinks. Fizzy drinks. So throughout the day, you drink up to four liters of fizzy drinks and that's we've got the other things there we've got the sweets and you've got biscuits and stuff in the evening if you were still hungry but um but the, the fizzy drinks were the downfall yeah absolutely for, for such a long time fizzy drinks have been a huge part of my life i was drinking pre-paul to between two to four litres a day. My gosh. So cutting that out, did you have any symptoms? I mean, did you sort of get yeah. withdrawal? How, how did that fit? I tried loads of times before to, to sort of lower it down or stop, but the he I'd get headaches, I'd feel nauseous. So it was easier, it was an easier option just to carry on drinking it. Mm. So actually having a sugar withdrawal? Yeah, absolutely. What, totally what are you down to addicted. now? What are you consuming in your fizzy drinks now? Um, I probably have... Reduced it by about 60%. So 
so which is great. It's it's massive for me, and so it's still a liter a day. Yes, yeah, but like Steph, I'm taking very very slow steps to doing it. Are you yeah. aiming to get that down to, to nothing? To, to zero, yeah. But interestingly, with you, you feel different, but your sleep's improved as well. I can't believe it. I can't. I listen to Paul CD every night, <laughs> and I've not slept as well. Really? Since doing it, yeah. And I wake up with more energy as well because of that.